In today's discussion on electrical measurement, we will talk about PMMC instrument and MI instrument. About permanent magnet moving coil instrument, we will talk about its construction, torque equation, errors, advantages and disadvantages. For moving iron instrument, we will talk about construction, torque equation, errors, and advantages and disadvantages. Finally, we will have a comparison between PMMC and MI instruments. A permanent magnet moving coil is also known as the Arsene Wellmeter. The instrument allows us to measure current by seeing the coil's angular deflection in a uniform magnetic field. In a PMMC, a conductor is positioned between two permanent magnets that creates a stationary magnetic field. A PMMC instrument complies with the Faraday's laws of electromagnetic induction and Fleming's left hand rule. The magnitude of the induced EM force is proportional to the amount of the current through the coil. When the torques are balanced, the moving on the coil stops and the angular deflection is measured by scale. The pointer scale movement is linear when the permanent magnet field is linear. The PMC instrument is used only for measuring DC current. Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction states that when exposed to a changing magnetic field, a current is induced in the conductor and an electromagnetic force is generated given by the equation epsilon equals minus n d phi by dt, where epsilon is the electromagnetic force n is the number of coils and phi is the magnetic flux. Fleming's left hand rule states that when a current carrying conductor is placed in an external magnetic field, the conductor experiences a force perpendicular to both the field and to the direction of the current flow. The principal components of the PMMC equipment are moving coil, permanent magnet system, control unit, damping unit and pointer scale. The figures on this slide show the detailed schematic construction of the PMC equipment. The moving coil is the current carrying component of the instrument moving freely between the permanent magnets. The coil is mounted on a rectangular aluminium made former that increases the radial and the magnetic field between the ear gaps of the poles. The magnet system is a couple of permanent magnets form the uniform magnetic field around the coil. Alcomax and Alnico materials are used to create the permanent magnet and it has a high coercive force intensifying the magnetic field. The torque of the coil is controlled by a spring arrangement made up of phosphor bronze which is placed between the two dual bearings. The spring arrangement provides the path for the leading current to flow in and out of the moving coil. The controlling torque is due to the suspension of the ribbon. The damping torque is used to check the coil movement in rest condition. The damping torque is induced due to the aluminium core movement between the magnetic poles. The pointer is used to indicate the magnitude of current flow in the attached moving coil. The pointer is made up of lightweight material for ease of movement and less frictional obstruction. The pointer hovers about a calibrated graduated scale to determine the magnitude of current. The deflection torque is induced due to the movement of the coil within the magnetic field. It is given numerically as TD equals NBLDI equal to GI, where TD is the deflecting torque, N is the number of turns of the coil, B magnetic flux density, L is the moving coil length, D is the moving coil width, I is the electric current, G stands for the product of N, B, L and D. The restoring torque provided due to the spring arrangement is numerically given by Tr equal to K theta, where K is a constant of proportionality. For final deflection, Td should be equal to Tr, that is K theta should be equal to Gi. Thus, we calculate theta as Gi by K and we calculate I as K theta by G. The PMMC instrument suffers from the following errors due to aging and temperature effects. Lifespan of magnet is affected by the heat and vibration. Weaker magnetic strength weakens the instrument response. Spring arrangement. The springs lose their elasticity due to wear, tear and aging and temperature effects affecting the response and the spring lifetime. 
the moving coil also induces error in the system. The moving coils suffer error due to changes in the coil resistance on the shunt resistance. The coil is normally made up of copper offering high shunt resistance while the shunt wire is made up of magnet that has low resistance. To overcome this issue, a swamping resistance, a resistance with low temperature coefficient is placed in series with the moving coil. PMMC instruments offer the following advantages. Uniformly distributed scale of measurement, very low power consuming device with a low power consumption, high accuracy and reliable due to high torque weight ratio, suitable for measuring different ranges of current and voltages using shunts and multipliers. Self-shielding magnet that is useful for aerospace applications, no effect of stray magnetic field and no hysteresis loss due to aluminum made former. The disadvantages of the PMMC instruments are as follows. Limited application only with DC current as phase changes of AC current lead to fast swing of the coil which fail to keep up with the measurement costlier than that of a counterpart moving iron instrument and significant frictional and temperature based errors are present. The second type of instrument in today's discussion is the moving iron instrument. The moving iron instrument uses a soft iron core for measuring current and voltage. It works on the simple principle that iron gets attracted by and towards a magnet. The induced force is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field Two iron pieces kept side by side next to a magnet repel each other, which is due to the same polarity induced in both the iron pieces due to the external magnetic field. The magnetic field strength of the electromagnet is increased or decreased by increasing or decreasing the current through the coil. The increase in current also increases the repulsive force between the two iron pieces. The MI instrument is applicable for both AC and DC current circuits. The moving iron instruments are of two types, attraction type and repulsion type. As a soft iron piece is placed in the magnetic field of current carrying coil, the piece is attracted towards the center of the coil to occupy a position of minimum reluctance. The MI instrument consists of a stationary hollow cylindrical coil. An oval shaped soft iron piece is mounted eccentrically to the spindle to which a pointer needle is attached. The primary components of an MI equipment are stationary coil producing magnetic field due to current flow, oval shaped lightweight iron disc pivoted along the axis of the coil, control weight, balance weight, damping system with the iron disc and a pointer arrangement on a graduated scale. The controlling torque is provided by the gravity control method. The damping torque is provided by the yaw friction method. When there is current in the coil, the coil attracts the disc towards the center of the coil due to magnetic field. With current flowing through the coil, it becomes electromagnetic produced by the magnetic flux H. The iron disc moves in direction of offering low reluctance path. As the disc follows the low reluctance path, the net flux in air gap increases that is increased flux linkage of the coil increasing the coil inductance. If the current direction is reversed, the magnetic field also gets reversed and the same phenomenon follows. In the repulsive type MI instrument, there are two similar magnetized iron pieces placed near each other where one is fixed and the other is movable that ripples away in presence of current. The two pictures on the left of this slide represent the repulsion type and the attraction type MI instrument. The deflecting torque in the MI instrument is given by the formula FL cos theta plus phi. The angle phi is created with no current through the coil as shown in the figure on the right. The deflecting torque of MI instrument is given as A equals pi r square phi. Therefore, TD equals FL cos theta plus phi. Thus, TD is proportional to I square sine theta plus phi cos theta plus phi equals to 
proportional i square sine 2 theta plus phi where phi is the angle made by iron disc axis with line perpendicular to the field and theta is the deflection of iron piece f is the force acting on the disc i is the current flowing through the conductor and l is the distance at which force is acting on the disc the restoring torque of the mi equipment is given as tr equals k dash sin theta. at steady state condition tr equals td therefore k dash sin theta is equal to k i square sin 2 theta plus phi Thus, we get I equals root of K dash sin theta by K sin 2 theta plus phi, where both K and K dash are constants. The deflection angle theta is proportional to the square of the current, that is theta proportional to I square. Like the PMMC instrument, the MI instrument also suffers from following errors. Error due to temperature changes due to high value of temperature coefficient of the coil. Error due to stray magnetic field due to weak operating magnetic field. Error is minimized by using iron case or thin iron shield over the working parts. Hysteresis loss and error in the iron parts. Error is reduced by using mu metal and perm alloy. Error due to change in operating frequency causing change in the eddy current. Error is limited by using condenser of suitable value in parallel with the swamp resistance. The advantages of the MI instrument are as follows. Cheap in cost and simple and robust in construction. Suitable for both AC and DC circuits. Very accurate output of fixed power supply frequency. High operating torque and high tolerance towards momentary overloads. The disadvantages of the MI instrument are as follows. Non-uniform scale and crowded at the beginning. Less sensitive than the PMC instrument. High operating power consumption. Errors are introduced with changes in operating frequency. Comparing the MI and the PMC instrument, we see that the MI instrument uses soft iron as the material while PMC uses copper conductor coil. MI instrument is used in both AC and DC operation. PMC instrument only finds application in DC operation. MI instruments are less accurate than the PMC instrument. The scale is non-uniform for MI instrument and uniform for the PMC instrument. The damping is provided by air friction method for MI and by AD current method in PMC. Power consumption is high for MI and low for PMC. Controlling torque is obtained by gravity or spring method for MI instrument and by spring method in PMMC instrument. In MI instrument, the deflection is proportional to the square of the current. For PMC, the deflection is proportional to the current. There is hysteresis loss in MI instrument and no hysteresis loss is recorded in PMC instrument. Ammeter, voltmeter and wattmeter are all applications of MI instrument. Ammeter, voltmeter, ohmmeter and galvanometer are all applications of PMC instruments. Here we see four types of instruments under electrical measurement. They are moving iron based on the magnetic effect suitable for both AC and DC and the instruments are ammeters and voltmeters. Moving coil instrument are based on electrodynamic effect and they are suitable for only DC. Ammeters and voltmeters are application. Dynamometer type uses the effect of electrodynamic effect and it is suitable for both AC and DC. Ammeters, voltmeters and wattmeters are application instruments but they are categorically used for watt meters. For the induction type, electromagnetic induction effect is the driving principle and is only applicable for AC instrument. Ammeter, voltmeter, wattmeter, energy meter, they are all applications of induction type, but they are mainly used as watt meters and energy meters. For further detailed reading, 
the viewers can refer to the following links. Thank you.